I know that a lot of people who have, have seen your story, have heard your story and have seen you speak before are always wondering, how did you walk away? Why did you decide, decide to walk away at that point? Uh, I was known for this particular move uh, in Savannah, uh, called Savannah. And uh, it was, you know, you know I'm not going to get into the mechanics of the move, but it was such a devastating move. And I actually was able to use surveillance unwittingly to help me. The cameras actually helped me cheat. Uh, and uh, I w- we were just killing them in Las Vegas, uh, especially every every weekend. We'd go out Friday, Saturday night, Sunday. We'd make fifty, eighty thousand dollars every week doing this move, and they knew it was me. And they they and uh, and you know and the surveillance, uh, the cameras were telling them I was not cheating, and I and obviously they knew I was cheating. They just couldn't figure out how. And uh, the heat got uh, so much. Uh, I had so much heat, you know, that I finally realized. Uh, one time uh, after doing that particular move for eight months uh, in Las Vegas alone, uh, after some two or three million dollars in profits, uh, they refused to pay me. And at that point, I started to realize, hey, this is getting a little sticky here. And besides that, uh, I would travel around the world and, uh, you know, uh, I was a cheater, not a liar. So like we would be in bars, like we'd be in the Caribbean and we'd be, uh, you know, celebrating our, our big day, our big night at the casino, two or three in the morning. We'd be out at bars drinking and everything. And, you know, people would come up and to, sometimes people would, you know, get into conversation and say, you know, what, what do you do? And, uh, you know, I knew I wasn't talking to anybody in the casino industry. And I say, uh, uh, I'm a casino cheat. And they go, wow, really? And I would tell stories. And, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't believe it. But those who did said, wow, that's amazing. You ought to write a book about it. So. Take the, uh, you know, I always heard that five or six times. People said you ought to write a, b- a book about that. So when I started to get all this tremendous heat in Las Vegas from the Savannah move, I decided that hey, this is a good time to pack it all in. You know, I was pushing that envelope uh, a little too far, maybe, and I had something to do now: write a book, uh, which I did, and uh, that's how I stopped. 